Yeah, I want to take a minute or two to talk about, actually, if I can take a few minutes, but uh, talk about the 302 head that was on the Chrysler 318s in the late late 80s, early 90s, the pre-Magnum head. Um, I'm actually going to do two videos, I think. Uh, I was going to just do one, and that's on a 302 head I did a year or so ago, a couple years ago, and then I was looking for another set to try because I want to try some different stuff on, and came across a 714 which I thought was the same as a 302 but I put it on flow bench and it's actually a little bit different but I'm going to use it for a couple examples uh, since they haven't been messed with yet so I'm just going to save you some time if you want to do some porting on them uh, so you don't waste your time in the wrong spots uh, I'll start by what everybody thinks is the problem on these 318s uh, I'm going to need a flashlight Everybody thinks, and I was myself included, uh, thinks that the pushrod pinch is the problem on on these heads, and that you need to hog that out. So, first thing I did was like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleeve them, I'm gonna bust them on through, and that's what I did on the first set, and uh, hogged them all the way out. Took them out. To, I didn't lower them any. I took them out to a 340 gasket from the floor up. So. A 340 gasket fits that, or 360, but it's going to be short on the bottom. And my plan was to take a 318 uh, single plane intake and gasket match it to this. And I got 225 CFM out of these, and they flow about 165 stock, 165 to 175. They do vary quite a bit, but like I said, I hogged these way out, took them way out, sleeved them. It was a pain in the ass. And when I got done, I realized that's not where the restriction is. Almost the entire restriction in these heads is down around the nasty valve guide they got in these things. And some people will tell you to leave it in there because it helps with swirl, but I'm here to tell you right now, you're not getting anything flow-wise until you get that out of there. So first order of business is to annihilate that guide. I've started on this one just roughing it in trying to knock it down but that and then widening the short side uh, as well run back and forth I'm pretty organized uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it as well but basically, I had to widen that at the floor of the short turn. And then I still had a problem with, uh, they were wanting to go turbulent at about 450, and then they start going backwards. And they get real loud and turbulent. And uh, so ultimately, I ended up having to lower the floor. And like I said, there is variation, because one of these heads was turbulent as hell. And the other one really wasn't that bad i didn't have to do very much to it so basically i just needed to make the, the bad one match the good one but uh so the biggest problem with your mid and high lift numbers is widening that short turn getting rid of that guide and like i said on the 302 i had to drop the short side a little bit to get rid of the turbulence uh second biggest problem and this is more lower lifts like under two three hundred is this nasty valve shrouding right there and it's from here all the way to there and that just kills it right off the seat at 100 it's okay but like 200 300 the head just don't just don't come up like it should and then once it gets on out of there it's all right so what you need to do there is lay it back i didn't do the best job on these but you get that laid back and take it out to your scribe your head gasket line on the side i guess this is the intake and take that on out to the to the head gasket and get that laid back so it's not shrouding it shrouds the exhaust and the intake but what that does is just kills kills it early and obviously you don't want to take any more metal than you have to because it's combustion chamber and you don't want to lose compression but um but that's where it's at. My plan on these heads is to, uh, these 714s, is to 
leave them at the 318 gasket size and stock valve diameter and see what I can get out of them. Because these I went ahead and um, bumped the valve up. I got it up to like 190, 188, something like that with the stock valves with the 174s, I think is what they are. And uh, put the new valve in and it basically gained nothing. I thought I was at the limit of the valve and that showed me that I wasn't at the limit of the valve. Ultimately, what it showed me was what I ultimately found was that the limit was down there around the guide boss and uh, and the short turn area and all that needed opened up because the valve did nothing which meant it wasn't the restriction and I already had the intake over you know hogged out too much on the on the push rod pinch so that meant that wasn't the restriction the valve wasn't the restriction again like I said it's the bowl it's the short turn down in here and widening that, blending it, obviously. But I want to get these and see where I can get these two. And I may still put a bigger valve in. I just bought a set of uh, valves off of eBay for like $100 or something like that. They're just 188, 160s, I think. They're just stock replacement valves for like an X head or a J head. But I got all that done and I was like, man, I could have done this with a stock valve. So, also, I mean, I back cut my valves. And uh, it's a three angle valve job. Just your basic stuff on that. Nothing, nothing high end. But my flow numbers on the 302s were uh, 302. I never got a baseline. Well, actually, my baseline was this was another set of 302s I did. And I considered that my baseline. But I've realized they vary quite a bit from head to head. So it wasn't really a legit baseline. But. A basic, I deshrouded it, and basic gasket match, and it went from, here's where I'm talking about that shrouding. At 100, we was at 63, these were at 71. At 200, we was at 84, and that jumped up to 133. It's just killing it right there at 200. It just hates it. But, uh, and that continued on up, but ultimately, I said I got it up to like 185 before the valves. Put the valve in, basically gained nothing. And uh, bolt blended, still essentially for going to that big of a valve change, it, it didn't do much. And this was on the worst of the two heads. And it ultimately kept working on the guide. And I got it up to uh, 222 and 196 on the exhaust which the exhaust is also miserable stock uh 133 got it up to 174. um i guess i'm reading that i think that might have been a different port but this was just a different head that had the better short side and it, it went 224 with the same basic stuff but anyways, I'm starting on this, this 714 head, and I'm curious, it's already, it was like up 20 CFM out of the box. Let me see. Yeah, it was, uh, it went 185 basically out of the gate which basically was the same as a, a j head i flowed here a couple years ago i don't know it was kind of surprising but my two my 200 lift was was down a whole bunch and then it picks back up at 300 400 etc etc and then i knocked the guide down did that basic stuff with no shrouding i haven't deshrouded yet but uh, knocking the guide down picked up almost 20 cfm so they're responding to where I thought they would respond at. So I've definitely learned something off the first set. But like I said, I'm going to post a update at some point on these 714s and kind of show how they responded. And maybe it's just a fluke that this one's so much better than that one out of the gate. I don't know, but hoping to find out. So there's not much on here about these 302 heads and Mostly because it's outdated technology and everybody's just buying aluminum heads or engine quest or something these days, but I still like tinkering with the stuff, so hopefully it'll help somebody out down the road.